Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I am up for a new challenge. I'll try to create a whole ambient song like we are back in the 90s and I'll record it completely on cassette. I will use only the Korg Volca keys as a source of sound and uh, I will use the Korg Monotron Delay for effect. I want to stick to all analog uh, setup, so analog sound source, analog uh, sound processor and uh, analog recording uh, support. Does this make any sense? Absolutely not, but we are here for the fun, not for making sense. So follow me and uh, let's try what uh, these little machines can do together with this magic tape. So for recording, uh, since we aren't using uh, any computer, any digital interface or any software of any kind we will stick to an old-fashioned four tracks cassette recorder this one mm, is one that uh, I fixed myself I got it for free it was in really very bad conditions it's uh, from Yamaha it's called the MT400 it has four tracks uh, two speeds and uh, see there are four channels and you can equalize and uh, pump out the sound for every channel here there is a little display and we'll see later how this works and how we can take advantage of some of the features of this uh, machine for creating our soundscape so let's uh, connect everything and uh, start uh, setting up for creating our soundtrack we are ready to start uh, uh, our challenge uh, here I have the cassette I put some tape on it uh, because it's uh, already been used so the seals were broken we'll put it into the recorder and uh, prepare for recording the Volca keys is connected to the track number one uh, of the cassette uh, recorder there are four tracks and we'll try to use all of them now uh, for the moment we will not uh, use the effect this will come uh, uh, into play later now we start uh, with the foundation of our track and this will be just a simple drone I already recorded in the sequencer one uh, note I added some movement with the motion sequence, just tweaking the filter a little, so it's a bit uh, more interesting, a uh, little bit of the tune, and uh, maybe we can use the octave mode. Okay, so let's just start recording then. Uh, let's check the volume, okay, seems perfect. Okay, let's go. Uh, we don't have to worry about uh, anything now, just we will record all the sounds. At the beginning it will be messy, uh, but uh, it will slowly come together. Trust me, stay with me and you will see. Okay, so we just uh, finished recording the first track. Now we will uh, proceed with the second track. The Volca Keys is already connected to the second channel. Of course, I had to rewind completely the cassette and now arm the second track, prepare for recording. And uh, for this uh, second track, I prepared already in the sequencer a simple uh, um, sequence of uh, chords. Uh, I'll let you hear them. of the 
tool and uh, also some uh, motion sequence uh, on the filter to create a bit of movement. Okay, so let's record it. Uh, speed is right. Okay, let's go. I recorded uh, quite a long time, like about five minutes. Of course, we will not need all this time. Just I want to be sure that uh, when I will mix the final track, I will have enough material to work with. And then we can decide to cut uh, the track as long as we want. Okay, great. So now we're ready with the third track. It's already connected, ready to record. We'll go on top of the course and the drone. And uh, let's hear it. I decided to record this with the hot signal to get a bit of uh, tip saturation. Okay, so the truck is armed, uh, everything is ready. Let's uh, record it. Okay, see you soon. For the last uh, and uh, fourth truck, uh, which is already ready, uh, I decided to go with the rhythmic bass line. Uh, since uh, I decided not to switch to half a speed but uh, keep the composition as I originally made so I thought that it would be nice to have some deeper sounds this is the bass line so very simple, very straightforward uh, it's surprising how many sounds you can get out of this uh, nice little analog synth so but let's not uh, uh, get lost in the chit chat and let's get to the recording great so now everything is uh, set up for the final part of our challenge the recording of the final arrangement uh, uh, into this other cassette recorder. We have our first uh, uh, um, recorder set up here. Uh, we have the four tracks uh, uh, of uh, basically just some loops that are running in parallel. Of course, uh, they are not synchronized because I recorded them uh, with different uh, tempos. But uh, that's the beauty of it. It's, it will be a bit un unpredictable how they interact. Uh, we have the Korg Monotron Delay as an insert for uh, delay, of course. And uh, I decided to uh, use the pan to uh, keep most of the sounds uh, uh, on the right side. And I will uh, keep the delay mostly on the left side of our um, field so this will help to create some some width some space uh, into our composition because all these sounds are mono and we are not using any um, digital um, effects any reverb uh, so uh, I have to use some tricks to create a bit more space and keep the composition uh, interesting uh, I will perform uh, the arrangement of the track uh, live by playing with the faders basically uh, so the sounds will come in and out uh, slowly and everything will be recorded uh, here on uh, uh, another cassette that we have here uh, so let's uh, try and see what happens so let's start recording with this one and now this one
So, our challenge is technically over. I hope you enjoyed the ride so far. We have our track recorded here on cassette, uh, finished. But before I leave you, I would like to uh, give you one final gift also <coughs> uh, for myself uh, to experiment a bit more. I would like to run this uh, final uh, track through, through some digital effect recorded in my computer and add some uh, reverb and EQ to uh, bring a bit more life into it. So uh, I said I will use all the analog and I did so, but for this last part uh, let's make uh, an exception and uh, try to blend the two words. Uh, the digital world and the analog world and uh, see what we can get out of it. So stay with me a few more minutes and let's hear what we can uh, do with this uh, cassette plus some Valhalla uh, supermassive reverb. I added some uh, reverb, EQ and compression and now let's hear how this uh, final version comes to life. Let's hear it. <laughs> 